Good morning, y'all. Welcome to day 37. It's the relax in. I feel pretty relaxed. There it is down there. You can see that big dumpster. They're putting all their old stuff in there and putting new stuff back in. All I gotta do is walk across the trail or walk across the road and I'm on the trail. So I'm in pretty good shape. I got about uh, 18 to 20 miles to walk today. And as you can see, the clouds are moving in. It's supposed to start raining sometime today. It's supposed to rain all night. It's supposed to rain Friday. It's supposed to rain Saturday. So it's gonna be rainy, rainy, rainy for a while. Let's see how this goes. What do you say? Good morning, mushroom. And uh, I'll let you know when I see stuff and uh, get cruising. So y'all have a nice day. Take care. And I'll be back with you later. can't remember what the name of these plants are. I think it's like Chinese cabbage or Chinese water lily or something. I don't remember. But they're popping up everywhere along this boardwalk. There's the alpaca farm up there. That little brown building right there is the um, bunkhouse. <laughs> Weird, huh? But you can't get to it from here. You gotta go down to the road and then walk up the road. They don't walk up to the top of their little mountain there to get to it. It's a nice place. Mushroom and I enjoyed our stay there last year. We've got a nice little facility up there. I think the relax in is going to take care of hikers pretty good now. Looks like they're on a mission. Alrighty. I don't think last year we caught one single train and it looks like today is going to be the same. No trains for me today. I'd love to see a train roll by here. Isn't it amazing how they make this track? How to keep it just exactly the right, the right width apart and everything. And they've been doing that since the 1800s. Pretty amazing. All right, that's all the fun stuff for a while, I think. Now we're gonna dump back into the woods. May apples everywhere. Lots of birds today too. This quiet time in the morning is a really nice little time to be out in the woods. I just saw a deer run across the trail. She wouldn't stop and let me get a video of her, but uh, it's nice to see the wildlife. She, I think I see more wildlife in the morning than I do any other time of the day. And you can tell that spring is springing because these birds are really chirping away. The old London Mud School, icon of the AT. Everybody gets video of this thing. I'm sure y'all have already seen it a million times too. But if you're gonna walk the AT and film it, you gotta make sure that you get all the good stuff.
Let's go take a look. Oh yeah, very nice. Every year it's kind of changed around a little bit. They got a uh, um, hiker, a couple of hiker boxes in here. Look at all this stuff. Everybody's got to ride on the blackboard. Little one room schoolhouse. It's interesting. Nice little heater right in the middle. Keep it warm in here. Pretty cool. What a neat little place. Can you just imagine doing all your little elementary school and I guess all the grades were in here. So that teacher had to teach everybody, not just one grade. She was, she was likely teaching kindergarten to senior in high school. Hmm. Pretty neat. All right, on to the next thing. Look at that bamboo over there. It's like variegated. Nice little bamboo stand. I wonder, that looks like running bamboo. <laughs> you gotta be careful with that running bamboo. That thing will take over your yard in a heartbeat. That stuff is like very hard and very invasive if it wants to be. Welcome to the buzziest power lines on the AT. I've been listening to these power lines for like half a mile. They are loud. <clears throat> those ones in Daleville, right at the top of that climb, when I left Daleville, those come in second. But these by far are the buzziest ones I've ever heard on the AT. Nice view. Money shot. <laughs> this way too. Not bad. Woo. Electricity. All right, back into the forest. What you doing, buddy? Yeah, this is the Settlers Museum. This is an old farmstead. What a nice little place. I sure would uh, would have liked to live here someday. I'd like to live here now. There's even a hiker back there camping. They have a lot of these old farming implements here. Pretty neat stuff. And this is the well house. Yep, there's the well in there. Very cool. Awesome. This is a neat place. It's right off the trail too. You only need like point one to get off of the trail, not even that, and you can come check this out. Very good. It looks like the Chatfield Memorial Shelter. Whew. I'm about halfway done with this climb up to the ridge that takes you to Marion. So, maybe another hour of walking and I'll be done with the climb. Basically, it's just taking me up along this little creek right here. Cross over it every once in a while. Takes me right up the side. Rock hop across this thing. Very nice. There's a nice little money shot. It's looking off to the west. Mount, the Valley and Ridge Province is over there. I'm pretty sure we're back on the Blue Ridge. Although this might be the last ridge in the Valley and Ridge Province. And then once we get up to Marion, we kind of dive down and then start climbing back up into the Blue Ridge. I'm not exactly sure, but we're definitely on our way. Very nice. Almost to the top.
Wowza, 200. Take my clothes off and I'm down to 198 and 197. But I ain't gonna do that. Huh, nice one. <laughs> oh, there's that Holston Lake I was telling y'all about yesterday. Wowza. Nice. All right, let's go. Yeah, that visitor center is pretty cool. There's seven through hikers sitting out there eating pizza. You can uh, call down to Marion. They've got a phone outside. And then you can have pizza delivered up here. And then the partnership shelter is right down the road here. Just a minute. And uh, so they're all eating lunch out there. And one man offered me a slice. And old pink hot dog's philosophy is never to refuse trail magic. So I took a slice and had a little conversation with him. And enjoyed it. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Now we just got to walk around the corner up here and see this partnership shelter. So I'll let you know. Oh, and by the way, there are seven of them there. I had nine in the bag already. So I'm up to 16 now for the day. Pretty cool. And there's a big giant trash can here too. But I don't have any trash. So unless I just want to throw my whole backpack away, which I probably need that. So I'm just going to keep it. All right, guys, I'll be back in just a minute here. All righty, there's a partnership shelter. I couldn't really get good views in the inside because there's some stranger danger in there. So, uh, yeah, and there's, there are three through hikers in there. So that makes it 20 for the day. Holy cow, cow. Holy cow. Uh, so, yeah. And they're all eating pizza. They took advantage of that delivery uh, option there and got themselves some pizza. So uh, I'm on my way. Getting close. They're going to get close to the Trimpy shelter. I don't know what I'm going to do when I get there. That's still open for debate. But got to get to the Trimpy shelter. So this is where we go to get there. And uh, we'll be on our way. Well, I just met Mr. Friendly and Man Cub. That makes number 2930. And by the way, we've broken the record. So we're up to 169 through hikers so far. We're going to blow right, right into 200 by tomorrow or the next day. I'm sure of it. They stayed at the Trimpy Shelter last night. And they said the shelter was packed and... There was nine or ten tents out there last night. Could have been that crowd that was back there eating all that pizza at the Jennings Visitor Center. I'm not sure. But I'm sure there's another crowd behind them. So the question is, do I go there or do I stop short and just uh, find a campsite? Because there's uh, several campsites along the trail within maybe a mile or two of the shelter. So... And I just get up early tomorrow and uh, hike on. And I think as time goes on here, as I continue to encounter more and more of these nobos, um, that's going to be my strategy. I'm going to be an early riser, right? You know, a lot of times I'm up and hiking at 5.30. I might go to 4.30 or 5 o'clock um, just to uh, uh, get my miles in and be done by 4. And then... If I find a shelter or somewhere else, then I can pitch my tent and get there a little earlier before the other crowd quits at 6 or 7, then that might help me. Uh, so I think that's, a, that's kind of on my mind as far as how I'm going to manage the onslaught that's coming towards me right now, which can't be too much further away. Maybe just past Damascus. I'm just probably going to be standing on the side of the trail watching the train of hikers go by me five or six times a day so that's going to be interesting and this time in damascus thinking that the, everything's just going to be full down there this will be nice to have mimi and mushroom come and help me and we're just going to stay at uh, the super eight in abington and then they're just going to drop me off at the road come pick me up at the end of the day for three days until i get to damascus and then I think 
Oh, uh, there's Woods Hole or Boots Off Hostel. The one down there by Watauga Lake. I might try to make a reservation here tomorrow or the next day. Try to plan out maybe seven days in advance where I'm going to need to be in the hostels. Because I know I'm going to stay at Boots Off. I think it's Boots Off. And I'm going to stay probably at Mountain Harbor uh, when I get there. So, and I know that those places are going to be booked. I'm just going to maybe count on the fact that through hikers aren't going to make those reservations seven days in advance. I think I can calculate out ahead of time where I'm going to be and make those plans and then just hike that hike to get there at that time. Uh, and that probably will work out. So the planning strategy is kind of coming into play real soon. And I'm probably not going to be wanting to stay in busy shelters all the time. Uh, unless there is a good reason for me to go there for whatever reason that may be. So, yeah, that's what's going on. Today, I'm supposed to be kind of going downhill a lot, but it feels like I'm going uphill a lot. There's like these little, everything's just a little bumpy to bump. You know, like right here in front of me, I got to do this little uphill. Looks like I got to go to the top of that little knob. But actually, I'm trending downhill. It's just that in between it all, I got to switch from my downhill muscles back to my uphill muscles. And that's always a little bit of a challenge. I notice that when I start climbing, as long as I'm climbing for maybe 0.2 or 0.3 and it's constant, that my uphill muscles kick in. But at first, it's a little bit more difficult. Alrighty, here I go. I'm going to come back in a little bit because I got to get these trekking poles in the ground. I'll see you guys in a little while. Hey, everybody. Pink Hot Dog here. Check out who I found. This is Casey. And Casey and Mushroom and I did a section from Hot Springs to Irwin. And we hiked together. And uh, we were like the slow pokes. He always got camp all set up for us at the end of the day. And uh, here he is again. I think you're probably continuing on with your sections, aren't you? I'm four miles from being done. Oh, my I'm gosh. stopping in uh, Marion. It is. It is so nice to see this guy, and it, what a coincidence that we met out here on the trail. It's so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and as soon as I saw you, I was like, I know him. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Weird. That's so cool. All right. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to take a picture now because we've got to document this for Mushroom. Awesome. Thank you. That was just an unbelievable encounter, y'all. Sometime, I think it was like 2018... 2019 maybe, uh, Mushroom and I went out for a section hike from uh, uh, Hot Springs to Irwin to test our gear and test how we did over the course of going from town to town as we were preparing for our through hike. And just a little outside of Hot Springs, we ran into Casey. And every night that we spent on trail, we stayed at the same shelter he did. And we really enjoyed his company and just had a great time with him. Whoa, sorry, I had this, I'm trying to fall down over this tree here, sorry. So, anyways, Casey comes out every five or, five or six days a year and does a section. He starts where he, he left off last time. So, that was way down in Irwin. Last, last time I met him, I saw him, and now he's way up here in Virginia. What a sight for sore eyes that guy was. <laughs> Every once in a while, we'll just message each other and say hello. I didn't even remember his name when I saw him, but I remembered his face. And it was, uh, it was just, wow. I don't have any words. Just such a coincidence that he would be out here and we'd run into each, uh, in, into each other. Casey, if you're watching this, it's great talking to you, man. And maybe we'll see each other again someday. I hope so. Y'all take care. We'll be back in a little bit. Nice little money shot. That's Rye Valley. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Very good. And there's even some benches to sit on and enjoy. <laughs> Very good. All right, I'm about to dump down to these campsites and uh, 
then if I like the campsites, I might stay there. If I don't, then I'll continue on until I find something I like or I end up at Trimpy Shelter. The drama of the day. That's what you get with old pink hot dog. <laughs> I absolutely walked straight past you and didn't even see you. <laughs> That's hilarious. That one looks a little thin. Springs are coming, ladies. And they don't even care about me at one little bit. That one's got an injury to its hock or something. It looks like it's been licking it. Very cool. You guys take care. I'm out of here. Well, there's another mushroom and pink hot dog campsite right here. And this is where I'm staying. I believe I'm just going to sit down right on this bed of leaves right here. Or maybe over there. Mushroom always did all that work. That was her job was to find the spot to put our tent. So I might have to think about it for a minute. But I'm home. So uh, let me get set up and I'll come back and do this wrap up. Nice one. Alrighty, folks. Let's wrap this day up. It's day 37. There's my bear hang. Not bad. I'll give it a B. I don't think a bear can crawl up that tree and grab it. And I don't think he can reach it from the big one either. So I'll give it a B. There's my tent. I'm prepared for rain tonight because it's supposed to rain. So uh, I'm ready. Bring it on. If it doesn't rain tonight, it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow and all day Saturday. So it's rain. It's supposed to rain. I just don't know exactly when it's going to start. Uh, yeah, we saw a lot of neat things today, uh, especially early in the day. All that stuff down there near Atkins is pretty cool. I enjoy that, that sort of thing. But I got to tell you, the highlight of the day today for me was meeting Casey. Uh, you know, it's just one of those deals where, you know, you never could have planned that out. It just happened. And uh, we both looked at each other for a minute before we figured out who each other was. Uh, and yeah, it was a great reunion uh, to see him today. He's a young, nice young man and both Mushroom and I enjoyed hiking with him. I think it was 2019. Uh, it was before the pandemic. I know that, um, but it's been four years now since uh, we've seen him last. So, yeah, that's a that's a big, big, uh, big, big win for me today. I'm really, really happy to be able to see him. I also got to give a big shout out to my buddy Two Crab. It's his birthday today. He's 57, just like me, and uh, he's like one week younger than I am. Uh, so. Uh, we've been friends since the seventh grade. Uh, we both played third chair clarinet in the school orchestra. We were both pretty bad at that instrument at that time. Uh, Scott went on and uh, continued his career in the clarinet in the high school band uh, in the marching band, but I didn't. <laughs> so uh, Scott got better at it. Uh, two crab, I mean. Anyways, I'm looking forward to seeing him again in September. We're going to hike uh, north to, to Katahdin and uh, have a good time. Uh, one last bit of business. I saw 38 through hikers today, uh, and that puts us at uh, 38, 139, 149, 159, 169, 177 is where we're at right now. It was a whole stream of them going to, going to Marion, and I think a lot of them were trying to duck out of the the rain, the impending rain as well. I saw a bunch of them eating pizza up there at the Jennings Visitor Center, and then the last three that I talked to. <laughs> They, we were, I told them that they were 37, 30, or yeah, 37 and 38, and they're like, oh my gosh, I just can't wait to get out of this bubble. How do we do it? And I'm like, I don't know. You know, there's no way. You can't slow down because there's another bubble behind you. And if you speed up, you're just going to run into the bubble ahead of you. You know, you just got to kind of deal with it, just like I'm going to be dealing with it here pretty soon. So, hey, 
it's just part of the hiking, you know. That's the way you got to deal with it. Um, I did stop before the Trimpy Shelter and stayed at this campsite that Mushroom and I stayed at last year. Uh, there's really no need for me to hike another four or five miles today. The next three or four days are already programmed um, in terms of where I'm going to go and how far I'm going to go. I just have to be to Elk Garden just on the other side of Grayson Highlands Saturday afternoon. And both days are like going to be 17 or 18 mile days, which today was an 18 mile day and I got done at four o'clock. And, you know, it was I just like, wow, I'm done. You know, uh, I've been hiking since, you know, till six or seven recently a lot and you know i you know i don't see any reason for me to hike any further today so i'm just gonna call it a day i'm gonna set up my uh, inside tent and i'm gonna get in there and just get horizontal and recover and uh get ready to go tomorrow so y'all take care mushroom i miss you i can't wait to see you in a couple of days so i'm looking forward to that as well and uh yeah that's it that's a wrap day 37's in the books Y'all take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Mushroom.